The champ is back. Alexander Rossi back in town, hoping to become the first American driver to go back-to-back -back at the Speedway since Al Unser Sr. won the 500 in 1970 and 1971. The defending champ sat down with our Dave Calabro to talk about his whirlwind of a year and what he is looking forward to this Sunday. A picture is worth a thousand words. Alexander Rossi clearly was in shock moments after he won the historic 100th running of the Indy 500. An American rookie pulling off the upset. Even then I showed up in May, having never attended an Indy 500 before, having never really seen much of it. So every day was kind of just a, a huge wake-up call in terms of, you know, the magnitude of it. And each day as it got closer and the, the atmosphere built and everything, it was, it was a very cool experience. Life is different now for the 25-year-old racer. This is the new normal, signing lots and lots of autographs. <laughs> Rossi is adapting to his new fame, and he's gotten to do some very fun stuff, but his favorite moment so far <laughs> has been the unveiling of the Borg Warner Trophy. You are a part of history forever. Yeah, no, I mean, no matter what kind of goes on in my life or career, good or bad, um, that's not going to change. And, and, you know, when I'm 40 years from now, 50 years from now, when I'm retired and, and I have a family and can take them and, and kind of show them that in my car and the museum and everything is it's a very special thing to think about. At the Andretti race shop, Rossi's just another one of the guys. He started working on this year's car last November. Did he come talk to your car? No, no, no. I'm not one of those guys. No, they, they serve a purpose, right? And you need trust in the team and, and the jobs that they do. Uh, Rossi's not superstitious, but he does believe in luck. Last year, he stretched that final tank of fuel and finished with a tenth of a gallon left to win the 500. It was all a blur. I don't remember a whole lot of that. I remember taking the lap around the track with you. I remember the, all the satellite interviews on the podium afterwards. I remember the team dinner that I showed up to late afterwards. <laughs> and I remember Monday very well. But it was weird because the actual celebration part, the milk, the leaves, the, all the, the pictures, it's, I, I remember what I see in images. The soft-spoken Rossi is a private person away from the track. He recently bought a house here in Indianapolis. Fellow driver Connor Daly lives with him. Is he a slob? No, no, no. He's, he's a neat freak. You're a neat freak. I no, think you're a neat, are you a neat freak. I'm a neat freak. I don't um, but he doesn't really cook, so he can't make that into a mess. <laughs> as long as he throws away the, the bags of stuff, which he does, then it's a bit clean. Rossi is ready for another shot at history, trying to become the first back-to-back -back winner since 2002. We won in a very odd way, um, so the odds that we can win in a normal way are, I think, are, are just as good. There is the Borg Warner victory wreath around his neck at Jim Rathbun. And speaking of racing, the Brickyard 400 is going to be moving to September. This is going to be next year in 2018. 2018 right. The IMS President Doug Bowles says the cooler temperatures hopefully will be a relief sure. for fans and the drivers. And I can say a few years sitting out there at the Brickyard 400, it is hot. It is. You can't even touch those bleachers are so hot. Yeah, so 